I'm Garth Taylor. I come from Lura in New South Wales. And what sort of car? And we have got a Leyland P76 Supermodel V4 speed V8. And how rare is this car, Garth? Uh, they're getting rarer. There are a total of 19,000 P76s of all varieties manufactured in the 19 months they were made before Leyland UK shut Australia, New Zealand and South Africa down and did fire sales to get some more money to keep themselves going which lasted for another two years and that all went belly up as well. So they're an entirely Australian produced vehicle and the V8 is the more desirable and the four speed manual is I guess the rarest of the lot. So where did this car come from Gar? Uh, I bought it from one of the members of the P76 club. It had lived out near um, uh, out near Mudgee for, for some time and then it came down to Moralia and it sat in a barn there for 12 years which didn't do the paintwork a lot of good. Um, and then someone rescued it from there and I bought it from Marty who had rescued it and Steve had been looking after it for about three years and then it came to me and I've had it for nearly two years. So what sort of shape was it when it turned up on your doorstep? Mechanically it seemed to be quite good but um, paint wise it was should we say rustic? <laughs> uh, yes. And uh, what have you done to the paintwork in the meantime? Well, it's had a complete repaint. It wasn't a bare metal respray, but it was a cut it right, or strip it right back and fill in the dents and all the other bits and pieces. And then uh, base coat, and it's had three coats of clear on top of that. So if any stone says it should just bounce off. And mechanically? Mechanically, it was quite good when I bought it. I'd been to Adelaide and back in it, and it seemed to go quite well, but then um, there was a shutter in the front brake so when we sort of took it, had a look at that the rotors were gone so let's do it properly. New rotors, new wheel bearings, new seals, do up the calipers so the front brakes are right. And three weeks later an oil leak appeared on one of the back brakes. So pull both axles, renew the seals, renew the, 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 the bearings, reline the brakes, do the wheel cylinders, back brakes are fine. Okay, and gearbox is alright? Gearbox is fine, had a new clutch put in it. Uh, diff's fine. I just changed all the oils when I got it. Um, it the cooling system has been upgraded from the original cooling system, which is all you know, the original radiators where all the water just ran straight down to a cross flow radiator f built for a, a Holden Statesman V8 and then twin, Holden, twin Falcon electric fans which keeps it very cool, even when 42 degrees. And we've got the luxury of air conditioning. Obviously. Air conditioning, yes. Mm -hmm. And with that, without the, um, the new radiator, it's an aluminium radiator, it used to get itself quite hot and bothered. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it's pretty good now. It's pretty good now. Done a few other things like new battery, new earth. They, had, they always had an earthing problem. So I just renewed all the various earth, earth leads all the way through it and uh, that seems to have fixed a lot of problems, um, just little little electrical problems like lights that didn't work and so forth, they all work. New set of tyres all around. And the interior? Uh, I've got a new carpet for it, I haven't put it in yet, but a brand new carpet made with the original uh, loop type material and moulded in, 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 in for B76. And they seem to have a sort of brocade type um, pattern to them, didn't they? Yes. yes. How would you describe that material? Hard wearing? Oh, very. Very hard wearing. Typical of all the P76s? Yeah, I mean, the, the, um, the basic um, deluxe models had, had rubber, rubber flooring and a bench seat, and then you could have what we, they called the luxury pack, which gave you carpet and bucket seats in the front. And then all the other models had carpet. So there was, there was three models. There was the Deluxe, the Super, which this one is, and the Executive. And the Targa Floria, which came out late in 74, was basically um, a marketing ex exercise using a Super. Now the P76 has an interesting competition history. 
maybe you might like to tell us a little bit about it. His biggest success was the World Cup rally with Evan Green and John Bryson. And through a couple of bits of bad luck, they got themselves stuck and lost, but won the Targa Floria section, which uh, astounded many, many critics. And the punishment that the car took was astounding as well. And of course, Evan wrote the book, A Boot Full of Right Arms, which is real worth the read if you can get it. Uh, and the trials and tribulations they went through with the car. The car's still around. I drove it in 1975 when it came back to Australia and I was amazed how tight it still was and how well it went. So here we are in the mighty P76 trundling down the highway and a very smooth old car it is too my colleague Garth at the wheel. We're just on our way up to Lura. It's a bit of a sad day though because Garth has actually sold his P76 now and it's going to go all the way off to Perth. On a truck. On a truck. But never mind. He lives to fight another day. I do know it's going to a 